folks, I'm uh, doing a video on a comparison between the Mora knife and it's the HD companion and the Hella Eggen and that's what we have here and what I want to do is I want to show you guys some of the differences um, obviously we have a uh, less expensive knife here a more expensive knife here and some of you may have a qu the question of okay well why wouldn't I buy the less expensive knife over the more expensive knife and we're gonna try to go over some of those questions or hopefully answer some of those questions for you uh, throughout this short video so we'll get right into it the design of the Mora knife which this one's been used a little bit um, it is this is a camp knife it's a scandy grind which means that and I don't know if you can see that but it's beveled at this edge here so it's a Scandinavian style grind and so that what that means is that it would be good for camp chores this would be excellent for um, whittling away at the uh, at wood and also some light food prep well, the reason why I say light food prep is because the Scandi grind is still pretty it still is a pretty thick blade even with that grind so you can't get so detailed on the food prep you want to slice let's just say out slicing thin tomatoes or something like that um, this actual Mora is a carbon steel version it's the HD so it's got about an eighth of an inch thick blade um, which for all you metric folks is 3.2 millimeter and the length of the blade is 104 millimeters the the handle the ergonomics of the handle uh, fits your hand really well I've got medium large large hands it fits the hand super uh, ergonomically I mean it feels really good there's just a, there's a little bit of a indentation here for your thumb even there's a nice little finger guard right here right where my thumbs at and this this portion here is rubber this is the plastic with that knife you get a plastic sheath with a belt clip the value of this knife generally goes for somewhere around fifteen to eighteen dollars that doesn't include shipping it is carbon steel so that's why it's a little bit cheaper uh, the uh, inner, inner design of the blade is what we would call a stick tang and it's a hidden stick tang so what I can do is I can show you an example of another Mora blade and as you can see that blade gets buried deep inside that handle but it's not a full tang because it's partially hidden in there and it's not a complete tang in construction to where it goes through and you rivet into the uh, actual handle for strength um, so one of the things you have to be careful with with this knife is wood prep and that would be basically uh, batoning you want to avoid batoning you can do some light batoning with this and I caution you on that and the reason why I say you can do light batoning with this is because it costs fifteen dollars and if you break it you know you can go buy another one um, the only problem is if you break your only knife in the field you're out of knife for the rest of the trip so that would be the caution it's an excellent knife I've used it I've uh, really used it uh, actually uh, just whittling I haven't really taken it out with me yet I've got another knife that I actually take with me um, but this one will go with me to the Red River Gorge uh, a couple times this year I'm gonna do some testing on it out there as well but excellent knife for the price you can't beat it and that's where you would get the actual value of the knife is extremely high if not top value some people may disagree with me on that but 
um, once again for fifteen to eighteen dollars you really can't beat this knife being carbon steel you do have to oil it and be careful uh, if it gets wet make sure you wipe it down uh, the other knife we're going to compare is the uh, the Hella and it's the Egan and this knife is a little bit on the higher end of things this knife is um, constructed with a curly birch handle beautiful curly birch handle and I don't know if we can see that but this knife is also just as the, the Moore knife super ergonomic fit your hand very well it's got a nice finger guard here so your fingers can't slip up over the blade the, this knife is a triple laminated blade design so what that means is it's stainless steel it's got an 18-8 stainless steel body on the outside and sandwiched in between those two layers is a high carbon stainless steel some people call it a surgical steel blade inside once again, this is a Scandi grind, super sharp. Both of these knives come super sharp. I mean, hair popping sharp. Uh, the uh, ergonomics, again, like I said, they're both pretty much on par. I tend to like the, uh, the Hello a little better. I just like to feel that. This one has a, a peened end with a tang on it. So that's peened down with a hammer. So it gives you a little bit more security uh, that the blade goes through the entire handle. Unlike the Mora, which is just hidden. Uh, value wise, um, you've, get, you've got a sheath that comes with it. It's a pretty decent leather sheath with a bell loop. And you get the cloth, the wiping cloth. You get a booklet and a nice shipping tube. So for all that, this values between $89 to $99 new retail. Um, Hella, if you if you uh, want to check out Hella's website, I'll include a link to it. Um, but this knife is produced in is it Sweden? Um, no, it's not Sweden. It's it's Finland, I believe. I could be wrong on that. The uh, use for this knife would be again camp chores uh, camp prep some fruit food prep but once again it's actually the same thickness as the Amora so you're gonna have with that Scandi grind you're not gonna be able to get the detailed food prep if you're if you're looking for that uh, both knives are excellent uh, both knives come with a sheath uh, I would be a little bit more worried about this Hella knife if I accidentally broke it because it is so expensive. So I would not baton with it at all. This one, me personally, my personal opinion, I would do some light batoning with it, kindling, maybe. This, not a chance. So that's my quick review on the knives. Uh, both knives you can go and check out online uh, to uh, get the dimensions, total dimensions. You also can order, if you decide you would like to get into making your own knife, you can order some of these blade blanks. They're really not blanks, they're completed blades minus the handle. This is a Hella Harding and you can order that and you can see the design. That's a straight straight design that's a stick tang um, from various vendors I think one is a uh, dryad bows the other one is uh, is it ragweed forge? forge and you can construct your own knife which is what I did here I did the the actual leather sheath and I did the um, the knife itself learn how to make a sheath and I constructed a knife it's a obviously it's a same thing it's an egg I bought the blade this is walnut I put some spacers in there go bucks because that's the color you probably can't tell that and this is a 
curly, or I'm sorry, this is a bird's eye maple. If you see those dots right there, that is a bird's eye maple. It's almost translucent when you uh, look at this. And I'm sure the video is not going to do, do any justice. I don't know if it can even get up here and show you that, but it's almost translucent. The lighting's not the greatest in here. Um, and it's peened at the end here. But this is my design. I tried to mimic the Hella Egan, but this one felt just a little bit better for me because I liked a little bit of a thicker belly in there. So that's my design. And you can do the same thing for minimal price. And I'll include some links to some of the blade dealers that actually deal with blade blanks. Other than that, that's my review of these two. Um, not really getting into all the technical details. I'm just trying to do a little bit of a review between the two so that you can have an informed decision when going out of the woods this season. Um, my, uh, my personal opinion is I would take the uh, Hella Egan, but for the price, you can't beat throwing a couple of these into your backpack or one in your backpack one in the toolbox and forget it for a while I mean if it rusts whatever it's fifteen dollars so I appreciate uh, you guys watching the videos and if you would like to subscribe I'll have many more videos coming out different reviews some will get more detailed some will be full full bench reviews others like this will just be more of a uh, philosophy um, on how these things are used and um, other than that if you if you'd like to see more just subscribe to my YouTube and have a good day